Today I'm going to show you how to change some settings on your Rover Tab 7 in order to make it compatible with the brand new 2 cable Smart LNB from MultiChoice. Their model number is the LMX502. Now what's important to note about this LNB is that it does not support legacy. It will only work with unicable decoders. So that's a problem. And how do you align the satellite? How do you align the actual dish if you have a meter that's set up to work in legacy mode? Now you can change your meter to work in SATC R mode and align the dish. That works perfectly. But let me show you how to change a couple of settings on your meter in order to read and analyze the signal coming from the LNB itself. So first things first, just put your meter into satellite mode. Now if you have a look at my screen, you can see we are on 11.594 MHz, vertical low, symbol rate is 27,500 mega symbols. And the meter just gives us a 55.5 dB microvolt reading. It doesn't really tell us any information because the dish is already aligned, but none of that info is being pulled through to the meter for us to analyze and adjust the skew. Now what they've done with this LNB here is they've taken the homing frequency 11.594 megahertz and they simply shifted it down a little bit in all, uh, into a new frequency. So we need to change our meter to that new frequency in order to analyze the signal that we're getting. So how we do that? We type the new frequency in. Now the new frequency for 11.594 vertical low is 11.062 megahertz. 11.062 and you can see once we've changed that immediately the data pulls through from this. We get all of our readings that are required in order to adjust the skew of the LNB and to ensure that we've aligned our dish correctly. What's a, another a bit of information I can share with you is if you flip over to spectrum especially when you're busy in the initial phases of panning the dish you will see that there are a few spikes that appear here. This is not a normal satellite spectrum. So you can see if I move my dish out of alignment, those spikes have become distorted. But the carrier is still there. And as my dish slowly moves into alignment, you can see those carriers grow. The signal-to-noise ratio improves. And obviously then we just put it onto satellite mode to deal with the final tuning of the dish itself and come up with the alignment. If you have any questions or you need any help, please feel free to make the comments below or get in touch with one of our branches and we will gladly program this new information into your Rover Tab 7 meter. Thank you for watching.